Hey everyone, what is up? In this video, I want to show you how you can use Python to find the sum of the first n natural numbers, and I want to show you three different ways you can do that. So go ahead and fire up your Python environment and let's get started. Okay, so I'm here inside of PyCharm, and of course, you can use any environment that you like. And I'm always interested as to why people want to learn these sorts of tips and tricks inside of Python. So do go ahead and let me know in the comments below why you want to learn this. And of course, if you've got any other methods that I have not covered here, please go ahead and let the whole community know. Okay, so let's jump right in with the first method using for loops. Now, the idea behind this method is that every time we are in an iteration of our loop, we simply want to add to that the previous iteration. So let's see how we're going to do that. The first thing we want to do in our program is start by capturing the user input. So because we want to find the sum of the first n natural numbers, I'm first going to create a variable for the number n. So I'm going to say n is equal to, and then what I want to do is capture the input of my user. And I'm just gonna say, uh, enter the value of n and put a space here. Now this by default is going to capture the input as a string, but we don't want that. We actually want this as an integer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of this, cut it, and I'm going to wrap it inside the int casting uh, command, and I'm just going to paste it in here. So what you should see when we run this is that this n will now be an integer. Okay, cool. And now what I want to do is I want to create a variable that's going to store the sum at each iteration. So I'm going to create a variable and call it sum of numbers and I'm going to start with zero because that's where the natural numbers start from. Okay, now let's go ahead and create our for loop. So I'm going to say for and let's just start with i. For i in range 1, 2, n plus 1. So what this is going to do is it's going to start from the number 1 and it's going to go all the way up to the number n. Even though I've got n plus 1 here, this is just the way the range command works. It's actually going to stop at 1 less than this. So if I've got n plus 1 here, this will actually stop at the value of n. Okay, so I'm going to create a colon. So in this iteration, what I want to do is simply add the current iteration to the previous sum. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and print this out. And let's just print a simple statement here the sum of the first and I'm gonna put over here string n so that we can convert the number that the user has input into a string so we can print it and I'm also gonna say uh, natural numbers is and then we can just print over here the result of some numbers lovely and if we're lucky, this should work pretty well. So let's go ahead and run this. Perfect. So it's asking for our input. I'm going to start with the number 10 uh, because I know that the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is 55. So we're expecting to see 55 here. And here we go. Okay, looks like I have um, forgotten to put some spaces here. So let's do that. Let's put a space here and let's put a space here. And let's run that again. And let's do a different number this time. Let's do 11. And here we go. So it prints it out for us very, very nicely. And that is the first method. All right, in the second method, we're going to be using while loops to do practically the same thing. And the way this is going to work is for while loops, we need to initialize also where we want to start from. So I'm going to say i, which is going to be the iterating variable. I'm going to say i is equal to 0, so we're going to initialize it at 0 again because that's where the natural numbers start from. And then I'm just going to take this from the top and I'm just going to put it here because we're going to be using the same thing. Okay, so let's create our loop. So while, and here's what I want to do. While i is less than or equal to the number n, which the user has put in, and what do I want to do? Again, this is the same thing we did previously. So I'm going to say sum of numbers is equal to sum of numbers plus i. But this time we need to be careful because we need to tell the while loop to continue advancing forward. So we need to tell it to add 
1 to i at each iteration. So I'm going to say i plus equals 1. And of course, we can take the same print statement that we wrote earlier. So I'm going to take that and put it here. And let's see how that works. So let's try a different number this time. Let's try 12. And with any luck, we should get the correct answer. And that is indeed the correct answer. All right, and then the last method that I want to show you, uh, I'm going to be using a formula. There's actually a formula that finds the sum of the first n natural numbers. And it's a quite popular uh, formula in the world of mathematics. And it goes something like this. Let's create a function. So I'm going to say define sum of numbers. And I want to input an argument into this. I'm going to put in n and create a colon. And what I'm going to say is I'm simply going to tell it to print the string version of this formula. So the way the formula works is we do 0 0.5 multiplied by the number n. And then we multiply that by n plus 1. And of course, we want to print um, other stuff into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy our previous uh, print statement. And I'm just going to paste that into our new one. So here we go. Let's paste that here. And let's not forget to add a plus here. And that should be all good to go. Okay, and of course, we need to call this formula sum of numbers and let's give it the value of n that we have captured from the user's input and let's go ahead and run this let's type in 10 and here we go that is the correct answer let's try another number let's try something crazy like i don't know a massive one here let's see how that does and here we go it's found the sum for us practically within a second all right so that's that thanks very much and i'll see you next time